of South Africa has the whistle for this one. The battle of the big cats, Jaguars versus Lionesses. And with a win here, we might just see the Argentines prowl all the way to Madrid. Their captain will get us underway. And it is pinpoint from Gonzalez, draws the early knock on. The ball ricocheting back really? into the hands of Jimena Matas. Two tries for her yesterday. Awkward bounce pass out with well by Candela Delgado. Returning from that broken collarbone, suffered in Dubai and straight onto the score sheet in their early match. We'll come back for that knock on. Argentina's put in right on this near touchline. <laughs> so again, Hini. Saladrid and Martas forwards for Argentina. Again, Hini wearing the vice captain's armbands. Gonzalez stepping up to skipper. And they have been omnipresent, the pair of them. Wins over Papua New Guinea, Paraguay, and Uganda yesterday. Michaela Pilaro saying after that third and final win of the day that they were really Gosh. pleased with how they went, just taking it moment by moment, match by match. Bye. But they did take a look at their defence overnight, the Argentines. Six. Found themselves a little bit porous at points yesterday, so let's see how they do on the other side of the ball in a little bit. For now, though, it's theirs to play with, and this little chip through from the captain needs fielding and is dealt with really well by a Kenyan sweeper. Tackles, though, reining in. That shot from Antonella Reding. Now there's space on the wing. Now Kenya find themselves with ball in hand, and it's Stella Wafula looking to bump off the approaches there. Recycled quickly. Shaped to go really coast to coast, but instead it was a hard carry right up the guts of the Haguaretes defence, and Moritu sends it back the way once it came. Tackle from Delgado. Now there's a bit of a foot race shaping up on the touchline. Did really well to cling to Wafula, did the defender. Patient play here from the Kenyans, keeping things safe. That, not so safe, that, perfect. Landing right in the Brad basket for Otieno, but it squirts from her fingertips and Argentina have it back. Genhini up and on to Redding, who knows these parts well. Played pro rugby for a season in Warsaw. She concedes the penalty on the deck, and up rise is Sharon Auma. Captain 15s, Captain 7s. Playing for the Lionesses today, and how about the dummy? Maureen Moritu bagged herself a first try on the Challenger Series yesterday with an audacious show and go in Kenya for the first time. Ball in hand into Argentina's half. Mafula with the carry, with the offload, and now with a little bit of space is the captain, Chajira. Desperate tackles right before the sticks. Argentina with a huge seal. And off she sets, their captain. She has been a fulcrum, a talisman all weekend long, and she's still going. But possession is a fickle friend for both of these sides in this early match. Perhaps a little bit of quarterfinal nervousness. Plucked from the base, it's the snipe and the streak, and it's Judith Okomu who's got Maria Taladrid for company, but will not be stopped. And it's the Lionesses who draw blood first in this opening match of our decisive day on the Challenger Series. Well, that scrum aside, that was three and a half non-stop minutes. And you can see what it's taken out of the players. As that conversion attempt there from Sanaida Nyachio just drifts wide of the uprights. Some of Argentina's most memorable moments yesterday came from little snipes and set moves down the short side off the base of those ruts. But it was Kenya using their own trick against them there. And his restart finds at Taladrid. Just about getting her breath back after that desperate chase back. Oh, they pinched it. Kenya will have a second. My word, how about this? Against the form book. A 
against the script. Stella Wafula charges over for her second of the weekend, and the gap is 10. That's Jaguar Asas reeling. Well, they warned us this was coming, the Lionesses, so disappointed. After trailing home eight in Montevideo, they took a long, hard look at themselves. They've been in a residential training camp. They brought back in Chris Brown, the strength and conditioning coach. They have really looked to plug some gaps and fix those frailties. They promised us we would see a big difference. Now's the time to prove it, and proving it they are. A fine conversion to 12 plays nil. Rising for the restart was Tala Drid, but she knocked it onwards, so it's Kenya's put in. And physically riled, Nasiagua says. But they didn't have it all their own way yesterday against Uganda. They were forced to really dig deep and problem solve on the fly in that one, so still very much in this. Do want Five. to strike next, though. Six. Nyashio in and out. So swift, so clean. And now the scampering feet on her shoulder is Judith Okomu searching for a second, but she's well wrapped up by a pair of blue and white jerseys. Three options to the left, but they might not need one of them because look at the footwork and the fend and the meaty muscularity of Shajira. Again they come, the bit really between the teeth of Kenya today. It's a looping, arcing pass and a slam dunk on the end of it. Phoebe Otieno will score Kenya's third. And they are on it today, all right. When we were crunching the numbers, when we had our calculators out earlier, all the chat was about how a win for Argentina would book their spot in Madrid. Kenya weren't bothered with those permutations. They've just set themselves 14 minutes of knockout rugby against the team that they've beaten once already this year. And it's all going pretty much according to plan. Martis's restart. She clatters into a, a waiting Wafula, and Kenya have it back. Surely not another one. Look at them go. Look at Otieno streaking down that channel. Swiftly to it is the skipper. Needed to be tidied up that, and actually that's worked really well for Kenya because Argentina are in disarray, and there's an overlap out on the wing. Sharon Auma puts her foot to the floor. Pedal to the metal. And the Lioness is roaring to the front. That's four tries in the space of three and a half minutes. And Argentina, a side who've only been beaten twice all season, find themselves with a mountain to climb. Nyachio is unable to add the extras, so it's just a five-pointer, but 22 unanswered points. And after playing the first half of this passage deep in their own half, defending valiantly, Kenya just haven't allowed Lassia Gioretas a sniff of the ball. Well, Dennis Mwanja back underway through Nyachio. No changes from either side. Argentina have to dig themselves out of quite the hole here. Need to finish fifth or better to guarantee their spot in Madrid. A win for Kenya here. Season taking a big step towards that promotion relegation playoff. I think Argentina might be in even greater trouble here because there wasn't a legal attempt at a tackle there from. Michaela Palero, who'd flown up from the defensive line and just knocks that one on. 
So Argentina down to six. Anguish writ large on the face of the Argentine. Pena's put in. Drop. And acres of Five. Polish grass into which you suspect Six. Sharon Oma will be looking to have a gallop. It's out, away, and crisply. Little decoy line sucks in the Argentinian defence, but the pass just doesn't stick. Bit of, bit of get out of jail free card here. Paul Asagio Aretas. Brigido Camoro has it now. She'll throw in here. Well, she'll throw in here, but she'll only find an awaiting lioness who's all too happy to pounce. Wafula now out and on to Otieno. Into the Argentine. 22, they've turned it over. Fabulous rip and steal there from Azul Medina. She takes it quickly. They've got to. They've got to get a move on here. Argentina and getting a right move on is Maria Taladrid with all the footballing skills. It was Antonella Redding in the end. Unable to regather. A massive territorial game for Las Aguaretas. Still playing without Michaela Palero. Well, Argentina's head coach, Nahuel Garcia, said ahead of this weekend that he didn't want them bogged down in numbers and permutations and different scenarios. He just wanted them to play their best rugby and the results would take care of themselves. But they've simply not Come been lady. allowed to play. Kenya have been all over them. 22 points in quick succession. And now they're putting out the scrum. They've options to either flank whilst Argentina still down to six. Stretched awfully thin defensively. There's a lot of turf to cover as a duo. Luckily, it's outstanding from Maria Braguizo Camoro just wrapping up the Kenyan scrum half, stymieing that attack before it can even get started. And Judith Akuma finds herself with a whole pack of Jaguars for company. Now, though, Kenya with eyes alight, sensing an opportunity, sensing a fifth score against a depleted Argentine side whose morning is not going as planned. Shots, though, coming in left, right, and centre. Look at the work rate. Kenya could just get that wide. They surely would have been in for a score. Brilliant from the captain, Sofia Gonzalez. Thank you. Taking matters into her own hand and turning what should have been a vast overlap into a Scrum put in for her side. Twenty-two points in it. Four minutes. If Argentina want to stamp their ticket to Madrid, they're of course they're not out of the running. If they lose here. They're still absolutely still in the mix, but they really did want to sew that up early doors and, of course, see themselves through to a third semi-final of the season. They've not finished outside the top three all campaign long. Bye. The South American champions. The debutant, Brisa Trigo, will feed this one. Just starting on her run-up is the captain. Here is Gonzalez carrying an absolute train down that channel still going still not brought to deck she's got plenty of support and lurking behind that one is Palero rested she's had two minutes on the sidelines but she pops it straight up and on to Genghini pass doesn't find anybody so there's a tidy up mission required here and herring off after that loose ball is Brigido Camoro we know how fast she is once she gets flying well met dealt with Ball loose and plucked by an opportunistic Azul Medina. Options on the inside. Finds her woman. There's the pass. The 
chase is on from Cristobal Lindo, but at last, as Haguar SS have themselves on the board, they might just have the slenderest, slenderest of footholds in this one, and it is the 22-year-old Brisa Trigo with her first Challenger Series try, and what a time for it. Gonzalez will look to take this one quickly to add to her 21 points already this weekend. Sails wide. The gap's just 17. Running out of time here. They did need to land the next blow and they have managed that. Once this season, just that semi-final in Dubai. And they'll meet again in a few weeks' time. They're in the same pool in Monaco for the Olympic Rapprochage. So this is a good facts-finding mission. If nothing else, so many learnings to be had before that winner takes all shootout. There are four spots in Madrid, but just one in Paris. Can't be fluffing those lines. Here is Lindo, one of the Kenyans looking to go to another Olympics. And now Terry Sabewa on an arcing run. Tackle made. Tackles aren't enough though at this stage for Argentina. They need the ball back. They've got 90 seconds. So making their shots is one thing, but they need to strip possession and looking to make a mess of things for the Kenyans at the breakdown there was Talia Rodic. Here is Sabewa. Finds Nyachio sticks it onto her laces and sets off after it. She almost had the beating there off her opposite number with the ball squirting up. And now it's in Kenyan hands. And this is Edith Mariaka who scored with her first touch in Lioness's colours. Medina managed to make the shot there and drive Odua into touch. So Argentina will have it back, but it's too little too late they were thwarted by three devastating minutes at the hands of the lionesses towards the end of that first half that's where the damage was done that's where the hammer blow was landed They'll be relieved to see Brigido Camoro back on her feet. They'll need her for all that is to come. Let's go. Not yet home and host when it comes to the big dance in Spain in two weeks' time. Line out. Not straight. That about sums up Argentina's morning. Strong. Let's go, ladies. Leisurely stroll. A mellow grouping from those Kenyan forwards. They're not in a hurry here. They're Cut. very happy to see the seconds tick away on that clock. Bye. Set. Big Nyachio on this near touchline. Really overloading the open side. Argentina winning the penalty. Going quickly through Trigo. The debutante. Hasn't she made an impression since coming on in this one? And now. Here is Talia Rodic, who's got plenty of pace, but the tap tackle exquisite from Naomi Amaguni. That is how it is done. And just listen to the roars through the referee's mic as the Lionesses break Argentine arms for the second time this season. They thwarted them in the desert and they have done so again in Krakow. That is a huge boost for their qualification hopes ahead of Madrid. That's a spot in the relegation playoff.